And new this morning, a local nonprofit will soon be reaching new parts of Davidson County, helping spread the joy of reading for kids with a brand new bookmobile. News Channel 5's Cole Johnson joins us live in downtown Nashville this morning. So Cole, tell us a little bit more about this. Good morning, Amy. Well, this is one of those stars aligning moments for this nonprofit book. Um, one of their uh, partners got wind that they were looking for one of these buses and then donated it to them. And if you're unfamiliar with this nonprofit, it is really amazing, actually, and it's based here in Nashville. They focus on children's literacy. Their executive director, Melissa Spradlin, says each year they donate more than 100,000 books to kids here in town, primarily low income families. They have about 150 unique partners who help them distribute books. Places like the health department, Habitat for Humanity, or schools, for instance, can request books for families they serve. She says really anyone working with lower income families can request them. Now to this bus. Melissa says the governor's Early Literacy Foundation has a book bus program and approached Bookham about it. They agree to do it, but we're left wondering how are they going to do this? That's when Parn Parnassus Books came in and donated the bus that they have to Bookham gosh, we're going to be able to go to them and take a whole bus full of books, all kinds of books that kids are going to love, and we can kind of curate what's on the bus based on the population of kids where we're going to see, and the kids are going to have a great experience. I mean, how cool to be able to walk on a bus, look at all these great books, and know that you can take books that you want to own that you don't have to return. And you can just really hear the excitement in her voice talking about this bus. They do have some work to do on it before it's really going to be able to get going, but they're planning on taking it to places like back to school events, apartments, as well as some other locations, and they're going to hopefully get it going by the summer. So we'll wait and see what happens with that.